Episode 2 of Ace Attorney, Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, it's, it, it's one way around, I don't know. Turnabout Corner. As long as we draw breath, the wheel of fate turns. Okay, that's a car wheel, got it. That's true, see? Oh, is this like a, um, food cart or something? Spinning big crimes and little crimes together. And when the wheel stops... 3D! You die. Mmm, noodle. <laughs> June 15th, 9... Well, oh, wait, when was the last... When was the date of the last one? Uh, what was the date of the last one? I don't suppose it really matters. I just want to know how much time has passed. Because <laughs> we got over a job last time. How long have we been at our job? I mean, we'll probably find out straight away. But, you know. You know. I was checking the previous VOD. Hold on. Hold on. Chapter... Yeah, I know, chapter. Uh... April 20th. So we've been there two months. All right, let's go. <laughs> it was very important that I looked that up. See, it was very important to look that up. We, otherwise, we'd never know that it's been two months. We would never know that two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. We would never know. We'd, we'd be completely in the dark about the passage of time. <laughs> my first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was screwed. But even when I hit bottom... <laughs> I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. Here being the legendary Wright & Co. Law Offices. Oh, so I didn't accept the job and I'm coming here for the first time. Why is there spaghetti? <laughs> okay, Justice, time to stop trembling. Ah, you must be here for the interview, right this way. Huh? Hello there! You found the right place! Welcome! Ah, uh, ah, uh, what's with this girl? Well now, shall we begin? Begin what? Right, first things first, any special talents? Um, talents, talents. Um, uh, I don't think I have any talents. Punish the plates of spaghetti. I can punish spaghetti, I mean, that's, is that a talent? I don't know. Which yes, well, you, you must at least have one. Well, uh, I guess, defending? Defending! An unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little jazzing up, of course. You think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh? Go ahead, show me! Defend! <laughs> Just give it all you got! Don't hold back now! Oh, is she gonna attack me? Is... <laughs> am I... Am I... Do I need to get into defense position? What are you talking about? I can't just defend here. First lesson, a professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. We want people to be laughing with us. Not at us. Thank, thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What? What is that that you think you came here to do? I am confused as to what is happening right now, but okay. Um, defend? Ellipses. Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The Rice and Co. Law Offices, right? Oh. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, I'm not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet the person in charge. <laughs> well, you apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. Perhaps you should go read the sign out front again. What's that to read? Look, it says right there. Oh. Why does it say Right Talent Agency? Welcome to the Right Talent Agency, where you've always come to the right place. I mean, right Phoenix Wright doesn't even have like a like. Uh, like I don't think he can practice law anymore, right? He doesn't even have like a license or a badge. You need a badge. You need a badge to be a license to be a lawyer. I'm Trucy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. It all came flooding back. The trial. That girl. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. Trust. 
Trucy Wright. That's right. She's my daughter. Trucy Wright. Here, check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Wait, do I have the flyer in my record? I don't have the flyer in my record. You didn't even give me the flyer. You just showed me the flyer and then took it away from me. No, I want to look at the flyer. <laughs> Apollo Justice, Attorney at Law. Oh, they have changed this menu. What the heck? Uh, interesting. This looks uh, a lot more minimalist. Let's put that way. Um, all right. <laughs> well, neat. We can have an examine. Uh, we can we can have, have, take a present, I guess. Uh, <laughs> all right. Right, it's talent agency. So, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Daddy started seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people. Does that include you? Trucy Wright, magician extraordinaire. After a lot of stage shows, paid too. I'm a professional, you know. Right. <laughs> Promise you come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the, the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, pianist extraordinaire. <laughs> Your dad, in other words. Did you say you couldn't play the piano? Wait, are these the only two people <laughs> that are okay? All right. I actually doesn't see that as a problem. <laughs> there are many magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. Uh, Alright, before we carry on, actually, I do want to examine, because we, we don't want to miss any achievements, and one of the things we need to examine for an achievement is this plant back here. Ack! Don't touch Mr. Charlie! Mr. Charlie? He's been in this office much longer than I have. Daddy's mentor had a great fondness for Mr. Charlie. He's lived here since Daddy was a rookie attorney. Wait, Phoenix's mentor is in, like, is in Mia? Huh, Mr. Charlie, right. Now I take care of him. Alright, well let's have an explore of the room anyway while we're, uh, while we're here. We have a door back there that we can't, can't examine. All these legal books must be Mr. Wright's leftovers. There's a lot of unrelated books in here too. One trick a day, magic for idiots. That's perfect for Phoenix Wright. Uh, you'd think a pro magician would aim a bit higher. Yeah, I get the feeling pro magician is a bit of an overstatement. <laughs> a strange split box leers at me from the wall. Um, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? That's right, this cabinet is used for an illusion called the zigzag. I've seen one on TV, but why is it just hitting, sitting here in your office? It's a little big for me, you see. So I'm using it as furniture. Hats in the top, shirts in the middle, and pants down below. <laughs> I mean, it's unique, sure. It's not exactly what I call a welcoming decor. All right, we have a coffee maker. I don't know what that is. Oh, the the weird like moving of the hand is still there. Maybe I should like try plugging in my controller and see if that's any better. That table doesn't look very sturdy. You've never seen one of these? It's a magic table. A hot water bottle and a thing? I see. Okay. It's like you make teapot dis you make this teapot disappear? So you might think, but that's not it. Before your very eyes, the contents of the pot change! From Earl Grey to Darjeeling! <laughs> Kinda hard to see the difference, I think. Alright, magic. Many, many magics. Alright, magic hat. A blue silk hat, just like the one Trucy is wearing. That's just for show. Don't wear it, please. Last thought from my mind, honest. Nice hat. I put it there so clients can see and they know who I am. Well, think says magician like a silk top hat. I mean, yeah, it d does look very magic in here, especially with the with the levitating fork spaghetti. <laughs> Whoa, that fork is floating. Not. Why do I have a place of plastic? Oh, it's plastic spaghetti. <sighs> Dang it! That right there's the whole reason I became a magician. Do you tell. I saw a plate just like that in a restaurant once. The floating fork looked so real. That's when I knew. Someday I'd make magic more amazing than that spaghetti. <laughs> I mean, it's good to have ambition. 
That's one of those hula hoop things everyone was crazy about way back when. Really? I had no idea these were that popular. I'm not so bad with them myself, actually. <laughs> hey, I'm still learning. So you can really make someone levitate with it? Show me. I mean, there you go. Like, there's Ace's, uh, there's Apollo Justice's talent. This hula hoop. <laughs> huh? I have no idea how. It's just normal hula hoop, isn't it? That counts as a talent. Uh, we got some other general magic stuff over here. There are all sorts of strange paraphernalia sitting on top of the piano. Those are magic props. Practice, practice, practice. A professional never leaves their weapons far from reach. But you can't play the piano with all this junk on it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I feel called out. Uh, <laughs> I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. Alright, if we investigate everything. Nope, we've got a picture up here. Really struggling with the moving of that hand. An old sepia tinted photo of a man in a silk top hat. That's my favourite magician! I want to be just like him someday. Sure, nice. Guess it's good to have a role model, even if he's got to be well over 100. How rude! Alright, have we, have we investigated everything? I believe we have. Cool. Yeah, I want to get that out of the way just because, uh, yeah, there are some achievements for inve like investigating things. And it seems like looking at the guide that I've got, like the achievement guide I've got, you know, it seems like there's even more achievements for examining things. Like in the first game, there was a few. In the first trilogy, there was a few, like um, for the ladders and step ladders thing. But it seems like there's a lot more in this one. Anyway, so you're his, uh, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter. That's right. After Daddy quit law several seven years ago. I promised I would keep him fed. So I'm kind of his sugar daddy. Get it? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nope. I'm in charge of this whole office, too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> 15? How old is Mr. Wright? Daddy? Oh, he's 33 this year. I'm sure there's a good explanation, I hope. Yeah, I will definitely need to get an explanation for Trucy <laughs> at some point in this game. Uh, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Hey, you know about that? Not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right? That reminds me. About Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. The hospital? He's on strict bed rest until he gets better. Okay. Which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. The Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. I'll be going now and I'll give this showbiz gig some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you! We have a new party member. Let's go. Oh, we've automatically been sent over there. Sweet. <laughs> I'll save some time. Uh, June 15th at 9.45am, Hickfield Clinic. So this is Mr. Wright's hospital. Oh god, not you! Not you! I know you! Oh, uh, this is a character from the f first few games. Why is- why are you- why are you back? <laughs> hey, visitors, are ya? Hmm? Uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Oh, yep. Dr. Hickfield's the name. <laughs> Good morning, doctor. Oh, hiya there, Trucy. Cute as ever. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just nope. <laughs> Has not changed in seven years. Yeah, exactly the same. Was this the same clinic, actually? I don't think it was called the Hickfield Clinic, right, was it? Or maybe it was. Is this daddy's room? Oh yeah, except he's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. How are you, Miss Trucy? Got any places you'd like examined? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. You can stay the heck away. <laughs> Doctor, the nurse was looking for you. Why, if it isn't the daddy of the cutest little thing in town. <sighs> Guess I'll be off then. <laughs> Later, Trucy. Yeah, it was hot. It was hotty. Yeah. So it's a different clinic. Different clinic, same person. 
Uh, yeah, this this that man is not okay. Uh, what an odd bird that guy was. Good morning. Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. All right, should we examine the room first? Let's examine the room first. This game so far has a tendency to take me away from uh, take me away from places. Uh, we got some DVDs. No clues here. Wait, the it's literally glowing. <laughs> What's that on TV? It looks like some sort of action hero show. Is that the samurai? Steel samurai? The sniffling samurai! Okay! <laughs> I guess the TV has changed in the last seven years. From the steel samurai to the sniffling samurai. His booger flick attack is a big hit with the grade school crowd. I bet. <laughs> I had no idea you liked this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. Well, what else did I do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know? Uh, yeah, try not buying them. Now's the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story. Like a lot of things, actually. Alright, that might have opened up some more avenues of conversation. A swaying, spiralling stack of DVD cases. The Steel Samurai, the Nickel Samurai, the Pink Princess. I mean, we're, we're, we're familiar with those three. I'm not sure about the Zappy Samurai Electric Bugaboo. <laughs> They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Oh, is that the kid we met in the previous game? Maybe, like the Steel Samurai super fan? Like a Nissan nephew? Something like that. Quite the collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. Funny, Mr. Wright doesn't seem the type the kids would like. Is that, is that, is, is he, we've probably got a lot of references to the previous games, um, in this game. Mr. Wright's bed, it's really messy. Look how messy this is, look how messy this is! You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Kanks, he's attempting to clean up. Look out! You got me, what can I say? I was raised in the barn. Try not to let Will get out, Apollo, if you don't mind. It might ruin your illustrious career pretending to play the piano. <laughs> Sorry, you can practice on this one. This little, little, tiny little pink piano there. It's like, is this a piano for ants? This is like a child's toy piano. Gotta practice. Wouldn't want my fingers to get stiff. A pro always keeps his weapon close at hand. That's a that's something lit Trusty literally said as well. <laughs> Must be a family uh, family saying. Should I play your tune? Uh, no thanks. Uh, how unfortunate! I so rarely get a chance to play. Uh, all right, we have a grape juice bottle. Ah, Daddy, you stuck some grape juice in again. The doctor says you weren't supposed to drink that here. Yes, definitely just grape juice. Tracy, look at the label. Oh! Deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. I switched the labels. <laughs> Not to Tracy. Uh, Alright. What can I say? The man loves his grape juice. Slightly uh, indicative of alcoholism, but you know, it's fine. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? Alright. Let's go ahead and have a little talk. So, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, thinks of a hit and run. A hit and... you were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve, I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. <laughs> you hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. He really is as lucky as they say. What does alcohol have to do? Oh, that's true. What does alcohol have to do with grape juice? Absolutely nothing. Uh, grape, grape, like, is there like a grape addiction? I don't know. Uh, there's something that doesn't sit right. I just can't believe I have a daughter, Mr. Wright. And, and she's so big. Not fat, but you know what I mean. Oh, Trucy's still a child. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. Haha, <laughs> but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Tracy. Ah, my foot. I'm not buying it. Yeah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> this this character has come out of nowhere. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't agree. I, uh, I disagree. 
Something you should know about Trucy. She's a magician, right? She's open. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. <laughs> oh, daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You could just tell me things instead of insinuating them. Okay, I have no idea what's going on in this conversation. Uh, <laughs> so why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? Let's get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Huh? But didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyone? Well, yeah, of course. Help, we're in big trouble here at the office. Big. I thought someone was dying. You don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them's in the hospital. That's right, Daddy! How are we going to pay this month's rent and the groceries? Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship. When one of us falls, the other two must fall. <laughs> this isn't exactly a conversation to be having with a 15-year-old kid. So you need me to, like, you need me to, to bail you out with money, is that it? You need me to perform in your talent agency like a performing seal? I am, I'm not your performing seal. Follow here can't help you. I have to transfer to a new school, again. No, I can't! I only just made friends. How could you do this to me? To us? Polly! Wait, what? Polly? Am I, am I, wait, am I Polly? Is that my nickname? <laughs> Is that Apollo's nickname? On that note, how about you come work for us? I felt the perfect client for you already lined up. A client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to defend in court? Alright, I'll hear what you have to say, even though literally the one time that our paths have crossed before, you made me forge evidence in court, but okay, sure. You got him, Daddy. Hook, line, and sinker. Now it's time to reel him in. It's official, I'm scared. You and me both. Alright, what's going on? Has there been a murder? Who's the client? Oh yes, here. Take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to that Indochine pasta joint, Aldentes. Aldentes, okay. <laughs> I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. The car sent me flying, nicked a telephone pole, and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. The car sped off in this direction. So, good luck. <laughs> you wanted a client, didn't you? Wait, is Phoenix the client? Phoenix is the client! Okay. Find the guy who knocked me in the telephone pole. So there's, so there's not been a murder? But there was. There clearly was a murder. Once you found the guy and sent it to him, then you can stick it to him in court. <laughs> I'm not a prosecutor either. I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up, it was just a joke. <laughs> huh? Oh, Daddy! Sorry, Apollo. He, he just loves jokes, you know. Even the ones that aren't very funny. The real client should be stopping by the office any time now. Okay. Wait, why is, why is autoplay on? Turn autoplay off. Stop it. I feel... <laughs> um, hold on. I think I've missed a couple lines. The office. You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. Yeah, let's just keep falling deeper into the trap, I guess. <laughs> Phoenix and Trucy trap. The new Phoenix is weird. <laughs> I, don't, I, I just can't get a can't get a read on him. Uh, one more thing. You'll look into my accident too, wouldn't you? I'm at the scene of the tragedy on this map. It's right in front of this park. Should be easy to find. People Park. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's that's just a generally true statement. Uh, so, he's going to make me investigate this after all. Map added to the court record. Okay. Let's get ourselves a look at this. <clears throat> what other things do we have marked on there? So, we have a scale of yards. People Park. And Mr. Wright's office. And we can scroll around. To the left and right. Truly, technology is frankly incredible. <laughs> As opposed to a dog park. Yep, exactly. Park for people only. 
Uh, hold on, I just realized that my music is like through my speakers as well, so it might be being pitched by my microphone. There we go, let's fix that. Uh, all right, uh, I'm gonna look. Do you want to do you want to see my badge? Do you want to see my badge? I'm gonna present my badge. <laughs> What's that? Looks strangely familiar. <laughs> How could you not recognize the attorney's badge? It's been seven years. I've forgotten a lot of things. I guess some seven years are longer than others. Uh, and we also have the map. So let's try presenting that, even though you've literally just given it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Find the criminal knocks into me at the telephone pole. All right. So we got two cases. I guess we'll go back to the talent agency and probably meet up with our client. June 15th, 10.05 a.m. We were there for 20 minutes. Right talent agency. Hey, hey, hey. How long you plan on making me wait, eh? Ah, oh, good morning. Hey there, Trucy doll. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? Also, well, it ends well, I guess. Do you have a ramen bowl on your head? Okay, I'm not gonna, I guess, sure. <laughs> this is our client. Hey, so this is that Polo fellow, eh? <laughs> this guy has a ramen bowl on his head, yeah, mm -hmm, absolutely. <laughs> uh, the name's Apollo. It's a cool hat. It's 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 a nice hat. Absolutely. Look at him there, arms all crossed like ready to fight. <laughs> yes, sir. You don't mean that literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Apollo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked? It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. Not the noodle stand! Noodle? You know Mr. L... Mr. L. Dune from the noodle stand? Oh, God. This game really has a way with names. <laughs> you know Mr. L. Dune from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? <laughs> no nicknames, please. No, of course I don't know him. You're new in these parts? Not really. Then you know the best noodles in town. Eldoon's noodles. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles. Uh, help me out here, Trucy doll. <laughs> the famous Spanish Scot, Eldoon. Uh, this is Mr. Guy Eldoon, our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. Eldoon. Oh, and he's got a harmonica. I was gonna say, is that a harmonica around his neck? Anything for you, Trucy doll. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> let's have a chat. So, you're in a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon. Guy Eldoon's the name, and noodles are my game. The secret's in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Oh, that's not that long, really. <laughs> My family's been noodle men for generations. Got a lot of expectations on my shoulders. N noodle men. Are those like the wacky waving inflatable tube uh, people? Like, <laughs> I feel like that's what a noodle man would be. <laughs> 15 fathers passing the noodle to 15 sons. That's a pretty old noodle. I am a fool that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops and picked another livelihood. That didn't turn out so well. Oh. There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. So, it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right. Destiny's the word. I love how he's even got noodle hair. It's great. <laughs> character design. Like, true character design. Destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twisted noodle of fate. <laughs> Not a mental image I care to linger on. <laughs> so last year I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Eldoon's noodles. Alright, tell me about Eldoon's noodles. Tell me more about Eldoon's noodles. You don't know the genius that are my noodles? I make them so salty. Why, they're saltier than the salt! <laughs> That doesn't sound nice, but okay. <laughs> I really don't want to find out. Daddy's a regular at his noodle stand. 
He frequented my pop stand back during his attorney days, too. Yep, him and his assistant. <gasps> Maya? I'm sorry. I'll be sure to drop by off to town soon. Wish you could, Sonny. Hey? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a ball about now. What do you mean? It was stolen. My stand, gone. Stolen? Yeah, he must also deal in burgers. <laughs> Alright, so the stand has been stolen. It was last night. I was doing my rounds. Blowing my whistle. <laughs> it's like an ice cream truck bell, but louder. He even gets compliments. He even gets complaints. Compliments, complaints, two different things. Make sure you read the right word. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I closed up my stand for the night and parked by the house. Then, this morning, dark and early, it was gone. I keep my castle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we all feeling sufficiently salty in chat. Maybe some, maybe some bum carded it off. I'm just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too, except except the one on your head. <laughs> that's the saddest thing I've heard all day. You know it. Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good. Huh? Wait. What exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. In what way does this involve a court of law? The day you bring back my baby back. Is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Because I make it so hot and salty, two bowls would kill a man. <laughs> then I'd really need defense. Okay. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. You drop by if you need the info, okay? Alright, we have Eldin's house on the map. Get back today if you can, Paulo. I got noodles to make. Things have certainly taken a ch turn for the bazaar. What, in this game? No, I never would have thought that. Traffic accidents and noodle stand thieves. Um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, listen to the lady's problem now. Don't be cruel. I mean, the, like, I, the only reason I have a bad feeling about this is because the music has changed to the, like, to the suspense music. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skullduggery? Well, um, someone stole a pair of my panty. Oh, God, of course. It's a Japanese game. It couldn't go too long without a panty theft. Panties. So they were stolen. My panties, yes. <laughs> right, panties. That's a crying shame, that is, Trucy Doll. I was alone in the office last night. I hung my panties out the window there to dry. And a thief came and took them. My favourite panties! That's literally what the sound drag is called, too. Suspense. Oh, yeah, that's his name, isn't it? I, I remember that, like, seeing that. I wasn't... I just, I didn't remember it was this game that was called it Suspense, but yeah. Give those back, I shouted! Wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I lost him. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. A darn crying shame, yep. <laughs> this is a far cry from the <laughs> very serious murders of the first few games. At least the scene of the crime- at least the scene of the crime is convenient. I'll mark it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand on the empty bowl in your future, Polo. Right. And you help out Trucy Doll here too, you hear? <laughs> the expensive period niggas. I mean, apparently they're very important, and that's all that matters. To, that all that matters to my client. <laughs> Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday, and now we have three cases! Let's see where we stand. Not in a courtroom, that's where. 
All right, well, the first item on our list, Phoenix Wright. Daddy's hit and run accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's gonna pay us for this again? And the second item, Mr. Eldoon's request to find his stolen stand. For which we stand to gain a bowl of salty noodles. And the last request is mine, to find my stolen panties. That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. Do I get paid for any of these, actually? Who knows? Let's go, Polo! Po Polly! To the streets! Aren't you enthusiastic? How could I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me! Guess we might as well get started. There's definitely a murder in the opening cutscene. <laughs> Alright, hit and run, a stolen stand, and stolen panties. Got it. We have our work cut out for us, truly. Uh, I guess we can go to... So we have an option of Hickfield Clinic, the accident scene, or the scene of the stand theft. Uh, where do we want to investigate first? Phoenix Wright or Eldoon? I think we'll, stick, we'll go to Eldoon first. Let's go to the scene of the stand theft. See what's happened here. New! New! <laughs> June 15th. Scene of the stand theft. New. So, what's this place? This will be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. So this is where his stand was stolen from. I see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. <gasps> Papa! I see a Papa. Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? Oh, it's right next to the Maractus Clinic. There's a sign, Maractus Clinic. Oh, that's where the thief went! The thief? They want to snatch my panties! He ran into this clinic last night! Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties! Somehow doubt it. <laughs> There's only one way to be sure, let's investigate. Yeah, isn't the Maractus Clinic the one where Phoenix is? Why are we acting like we don't know what this place is? <laughs> Ah, uh, there you are, Sonny. Well, you find anything yet? <laughs> yeah, I love the vote poster as well. <laughs> Just vote. Um, no, not yet. Save the light. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. <laughs> vote sideburns. All right, let's have a, let's have a look around. Let's have ourselves a look around. Yeah, this is the place where, where Phoenix was. Oh man, I really want to try. I'm going to try, like, plugging in a controller. Fortunately, I have one right here. Because, the honestly, the, the, the movement of the things is annoying me that much that I just need to try with it. Okay, that's much better. I can actually control the mouse now. All right. <laughs> Looks like there's a special offer going on. Three shots for the price of one! Oh, now's our chance, Apollo! Chance for what? I don't need many shots, thank you. Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business-minded. Oh, amazing. I was thinking I was thinking it was like drinking shots, but yeah, that's literally three injections for the price of one, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'd understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? We have the tax evaders! Sorry, miss, no going to the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh no, nothing to see here. Move along. You'll have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do you look like the right age to be playing doctor? <laughs> a little more info on this Maractus clinic. We can ask Mr. Eldoon. He's their neighbour after all. We should check out that garage. What is the thief who sold my panties still in there? Alright, you're you're obsessed. Um <laughs> You're clearly extremely uh uh, over enthusiastic. Yeah, Maritza Clinic, that is where we had. I can move to Maritza Clinic garage from here, but I can't go to the actual Maritza Clinic where Phoenix Wright is. I'm just gonna go back to the Wright Towns Agency and check, like. Oh, it's the Hickfield Clinic! It is a different clinic. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Okay, so we got two clinics. Two clinics in one case? They can tell why I'm getting confused. <laughs> I can't deal with multiple places in a. In a like, in a video game? Ugh. Multiple places that are the same thing? In one town? In one city? 
That's quite a sign. I take it that's new as opposed to old. <laughs> ah, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but ran out of space. <laughs> After three letters? That's just a lack of planning. <laughs> Prior planning prevents poor performance. Like if me, it spells a world all by itself. And spruces up my image, it does. It does have a certain power of willful denial going for it. Alright. It looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and make the broth, do you? I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Tastes his business, you know. Look, that sign over there. Eldunes only uses water from all natural sources. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. Okay, save the light. There's a handwritten sign here. Save the light. Save the light, indeed. Mr. Eldun's house is practically in the dark. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocked the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity. Roth needs sun or it rots. What's a man to do? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. Seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. This is a very fancy looking clinic. Alright, we have a brush. <laughs> this house is... it's old! It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. It's got character though. Just like my soup. I always thought character was a positive thing. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily. Um, should I have a look at the vote poster? I can't look at the vote poster? Why is that not a clue? What do you mean there's no clues here? <laughs> what? There's a clear- that's clearly a massive clue. Alright, let's infect the popper. <laughs> look, a doggy! Good boy, good boy, Salty! I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trissy. Yep, sure does. Name Spoon. That's she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get a bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little thing. Oh, we have to find the noodle cart. We don't want the dog doggo to starve. Apollo, let's find that stand soon, for Spoon's sake. I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. Look, whatever, whatever the situation, clearly finding the noodle cart's gonna make anything better. All right. Uh, we have this top hole down here. That's the place, right there. That's where I kept my stand. Covered all nice and pretty with that blue top there. Spoon. So use this plastic sheet to cover your stand at night. I see. You see? What? Did you figure out why it was stolen? Well, no, but it does suggest the thief knew what he, was, he or she was looking for. They clearly knew what was under that sheet. So it wasn't one of those casual drive-by stand snatchers, you mean? Not bad, sonny boy. Not bad at all. Uh, and we have a... A hat on the floor? That's clearly a hat. <laughs> is this yours? Is this, is this your spare hat, Mr. Eldoon? Hey, that there's the heart and soul of Eldoon's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon it's gonna take, taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. Oh, my other bowl's got taken away with my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy. I'm begging you. Yeah, we have a bowl. Should we have a... Oh, let's have a look at this bowl. Let's have a look at this bowl. I need to examine the bowl. Uh, uh, that is a horrifying image. <laughs> it's the Eldoon's Noodles mascot. Mr. Salty! Oh, okay. He's so cute! Ah, kill me! <laughs> the salt! My blood has been replaced with salt! Ah! Life is pain! <laughs> it's not a very endearing mascot, is it? <laughs> Come to think of it... it looks a lot like you, Apollo! Especially the red parts! Can I help it if I like red? <laughs> flip it 180 degrees, that'd be nicer. Wait, let me see if I can... Can I even flip it? There we go. Uh... Now, oh no, it's, no, it's like... It's got like goggles on and just like whiskers. That's much more endearing. <laughs> like a little like flick of hair up there. That's a much better mascot. Oh, no, it's on the bottom. 
Oh look, I love these little personal touches. It's a shame to hide up the bottom of the bowl. Huh? When I touched it, the plate, the paint flaked off. I must have painted it on by hand with one professional care. I have to find the cheapest paint he could with cold professional thrift. All right, I don't think there's anything else on this bowl worth investigating. But hey, we got some evidence, so there we go. Uh, is there anything else to, to examine around here? I think I've examined everything on this screen. Uh, oh. I've accidentally <laughs> I've accidentally examined the clinic even though we can't really see it, but okay. That door is sure is sparkly! I literally can't see it! <laughs> the Maraxis Clinic, uh, looks like more like a casino parlor than a hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today. Alright. Uh, can we... Alright, I'll go back to Maris. <laughs> I'm going back to Mouse because the keyboard, the controller controls are also kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> anything we can examine in here? So we already examined that. I will stop complaining about the controls. Uh, one day. <laughs> Alright, I think we examined everything there is to examine. Let's have a talk to Eldoon. About your noodles. So your stand! Eldoon's noodles, was it? Aye! <laughs> Passed down from generations, from father to son. That stand seen at Sher Sheriff Salt. Mm -hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. So, your stand, Eldu's noodles, was stolen. It wasn't just the stand that was stolen, sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt crusted stew pot, my stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend. Right. Very, very sad. No one steals a legend to get away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. It's about time he bought a new one anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's still good. I mean, it's a bit stolen, but it's still good. Are there any more details you can give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy. It happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town. Crying the town, I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. The smell of... that wonderful smell of salty burgers. I got home, well, right before 10pm, I, I reckon. Guess he's not aiming for that late night market. I washed my balls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Did that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I'm washed upon the salty shores of ruination! That stand up my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything. All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least I left one bowl. Sure. Wait, look there on the ground. No, sorry, we've already picked it up. It's in my pocket. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Trucy. <laughs> if you don't find that stand today. Objection! Hey, boy, how's it going? <laughs> Now we're forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. <laughs> Not enough pressure here as it is. Okay, the garage. That's it! That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to! It's a crying shame, that is. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth. Not some pretty girl's panties. No! Make it neither! How's that? Is that okay? The garage, right. You don't think the thief lives here, do you? Fah! I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. But I detect a little animosity here. Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. Uh, uh. Do you think something happened next door? There's a police car up front. Ah, probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. I was at risk of giving someone food poisoning. The police I got here this morning, actually. That's what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor. Fah! Hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor worked for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. Fah! The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Alright, well, we can't ask you. We literally can't ask you anything else. Um, I guess... Like, I don't feel like any of these are worth presenting, so I guess we'll head on to another area. 
Uh, we can go to the Maractus Clinic garage. Even though the police car is like right in front of it, I guess we can still enter the garage. Let's go. Why is there a skeleton? Why? Uh, uh, but, but okay, also there's a cat. <laughs> June 15th, Maractus Clinic garage. This is the place! This is where that panty snatcher ran! Are you sure? Maybe! Let's look for clues! Clues to a panty snatching. Sure. Can you try not saying- yeah, please. Can we... <laughs> please can we not? Good question. Uh, Alright, well first we need to get pet the cat. This is very important. Hey, a kitty cat! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Meow. It's not coming down. You do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat! His hair won't hurt you! <laughs> it's okay, kitty cat! She won't make you disappear in her hat! Oh, cat not coming down. Well, cat can judge us from up there, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I, I added the uh, the image of Willow judging as a as a sticker in Discord. I want to add it as like a um, channel point redemption, have Willow just come up at the side of the screen, like <laughs> judging us. <laughs> uh, but I don't have time to do that today. Look, it's a folding ladder. Holly, that's called a step ladder. Come on. A step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? Let's look past the form at the essence of the thing. The ladder versus step ladder debate <laughs> continues. Can we talk about something else? I mean, as long as it's not your pants, absolutely. <laughs> There's so ladders versus step ladders is just a thing in in Phoenix, right? Every time you examine a ladder, someone will always call it a ladder. Someone will always correct them, and it's a step ladder. But then, what's the difference? Who knows? <laughs> it's a thing. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Oh, oh. <gasps> There's a phone. There's, there's something stuck. Is that, is that, are those, are those pants? Is that what's stuck in the exhaust? That reminds me. Yeah, we need, no need to be so narrow-minded, jeez. Exactly. It could, something can be two things! It can be a ladder and a stepladder at the same time! There is no need to be narrow-minded and, and force everything into the categories with labels. Ugh. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Huh? Apparently there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. Was that the DLC on the first game? A piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. That was the DLC on the first game! Wow! I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. And I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if... Hey! There's something in there! What?! Uh, are these your- Yeah, they are! We found them! Let's go! <laughs> Thank you, Apollo! You're a genius! Amazing! No, no, really, don't mention it. No, I'm serious, I'm really impressed. You just have a nose for- I'm- no. <laughs> what are those? Okay. Alright. Sure. Absolutely. Let's- Let's just... No. No. Can we look away? Oh, wait. We have a ramen bowl? Did you steal the ramen bowl from my pocket? <laughs> this is there an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. Alright, I mean... <laughs> and my magic panties is one of my best fits. Oh, it's, it's a magic trick. I see. <laughs> <laughs> they love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. <laughs> uh, put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. Okay. Well, we got them in the court record now. Prop performed magic found in the exhaust pipe of a car at the Maractus Clinic. 
No, well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. All oh, right. That's going to be such an important clue for the uh, for the entire thing. Everything's going to going to like the entire case is going to hinge on Trucy's panties. I'm calling it now. All right. What we also have here on the floor. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If they can't move it, it would be crushed for sure. I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Cell phone added to the court record. And it's got a watch attached to it. Hold on. I need to do some investigating. Uh, is there anything... Oops. Is there anything on the back? Uh, no. But it does have the watch. Did the watch stop when it was dropped or something? What time is it? Uh, half nine. It's kind of odd though. What is? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right! Sharp Apollo! Thanks. Finally, some respect. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through the details for one. They, they did drop their phone after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. Okay. Is there anything else we can examine on this? I don't think... Oh, maybe, 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 no. No, nothing. Nothing else we can examine on this. On the other side, bottom, top. Take off the battery case, no, all right. So we don't know whose that is. Should we examine these very quickly, see if there's anything on them? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I was just wondering if there was like a switch on these. <laughs> no switches, incredible. Uh, I did, do not want, I definitely do not want to know the secret, thank you. You're all right, let's carry on. <laughs> all right. Uh, and we also have this over here. The wing mirror has been smashed off. Hey, look at that! The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What, are you smiling like you know something I don't? You aren't keeping, you aren't keeping a clue for me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. Do we have any evidence as to why the... I, I think we... No, I don't think... I think we need... Um, I think we need to go investigate the accident scene. Could this be the car that tried to run over um, Phoenix? I don't think we have any evidence right now. But we'll have to remember and come back to this. I thought I was going to sneeze. Watch you. <laughs> well, don't make faces on a. Watch you! Are so misleading then. I know yawns are contagious, but sneezing. I'm sure there's got to be a clue somewhere. Let's keep checking things out. Alright. We'll we will definitely have to come back to this, though, because this seems like an important thing. Uh, for now, though... Look, what, why is there a skeleton? <laughs> why is there a skeleton? I mean, I guess it's a clinic, so I guess for anatomical anatomical reasons, there, there, it makes sense for there to be a skeleton. Eek! Someone's there! Someone very, very thin. <laughs> Oh, it's just a gold-painted human skeleton. Of course it's gold-painted. Just a human skeleton and painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital stories, don't you think? Uh, not really. I mean, there's, there's a whole box of eye patches over there, I guess. That makes sense. And then just a box labelled pharmaceuticals. Ah, yes, it's our regular order of generic pharmaceuticals. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's everything. We can't look at the vent. We can look at, that's gonna be looking at the car again. All right, I think we'll be back here very soon. Let's go back to Eldoon's house. Uh, so we need to head to the accident scene. I feel like we're gonna get some evidence here. June 15th, accident scene. So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. 
Oh, and this is the people park? Is that the people park? Wait. It wasn't a mansion, it was a people park. Or is the mansion across the road? Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. <laughs> there's someone looking there's someone nice looking over there. Let's question them! <laughs> I'm a little curious about Oh, there's People Park. The park over there too. I, it, is that someone trying to climb the Alright. Excuse me, uh, can we have a few words with you? You want something? Oh, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Oh, money sounds like something my son would call his friends. This is the Kentucky family mansion, little girl. Eh. I've not, I've not gone for a husky voice at all, but whatever. <laughs> you, get over there. You want something? Me? Not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But the Kentucky family. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. Okay. You have a sword in your broom? I mean, that's impressive. <laughs> uh, if you're going to ask something, ask it. If you're mad enough. What? Oh, right. Hey, wait, whip it into shape, ma'am. Does she know no fear? I'm plump. Plump to Kentucky. Wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. Friends call me Little Plum. I'm a little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. If looks could kill this one, we'd be a mass murderer by now. Alright. Uh, I just wanted to look around. Please, uh, I've been kidnapped, I've been kidnapped, I've been taken into a cutscene, help. <laughs> Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. Question her! <laughs> I bet she has a story, you know? There's something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. And like that, she is gone. How curious. Okay. Well, there's a lot to examine here, huh? Uh, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> why, why are you trying to climb over the wall? Why is your leg... That's not a natural position for a leg to be in. That leg is like bent in a very peculiar way. I I don't like it. <laughs> Looks like there's some trauma by the park gate. <laughs> I spell an incident! Mom, there's no entry to the park. Now don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walk through this park on my way home. Please get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. It's quite a determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I think they're filming a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey miss, stay out of the park. He got mad at me. Oh, is that where the murder happened? Is that what they're investigating? Did something happened here, officer? Ah, no, move along. Nothing to see. Why don't you kids go play something at some someplace else? We're not kids, we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong. Ah, Detective Sky! We're fine, Mum. Nothing to report. Emma! It's Emma Sky! Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? They hardly want to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, Mum. They claim to be lawyers. Why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? <gasps> Wait, she she's the one that originally had the Pog badge, right? <laughs> I'm about to build something on that pretty face of yours. Uh, all right. No need to threaten. No need to threaten. A d dose of experimental hydroxyacellulone. Okay. <laughs> hydroxyacellulone trace. Uno dose trace. Okay. <laughs> Come again? What's hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep it in the riffraff if you would. Yes, ma'am. Wow, Emma's got mean. How are we gonna get more information like this? Why do I ask that nice woman across the street? Oh yes, the nice woman. That only slightly worked for an organized gang syndicate. 
<laughs> I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one goes in. Unless you want a face full of hydroxy... <laughs> hydroxy... Uh, dia... Da what's it? <laughs> oh, dice. Okay, anything else we can examine here? People park? People park? People park. People sometimes park on the side of the road. People park. Huh, kind of an odd name for such an empty place. I wonder why it's named that. Hey, there's something written on the gatepost! Huh? Oh yeah, it says, Donated by Big Winds Kitaki. Even the Kitaki family built this park? It's so nice of them to give to the community like that. Let's get too friendly with them, shall we? A gangster building a park. Off move for a crime boss. Okay. Uh, anything else we can examine? We have a bin. Uh, is that the wing mirror in the bin? Wait a minute. There's a big trash can on the way in the park. It's the same color as the car. I guess we could check it out. A detective's life sure is a hard one. An attorney. Huh? Oh, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These? Oh no, they're slippers. Okay. <laughs> Not the wing mirror. Those look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't this go on a car? <gasps> it is the wing mirror! It is in there! It's a side view mirror! Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. But wait, you don't think... I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, when he took off his mirror? I never knew Daddy was so strong. I only have room in my pocket for one of these. Uh, I'm... What do you mean? What do you mean? You only have root... What? What? What in the name of convoluted... <laughs> pointless mechanics is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll hold one if you want. <laughs> How... <laughs> Why can we not put them in the panties? <laughs> Um, what? Justify yourself, game! <laughs> Alright, um, I guess we'll take the mirror because we know what we need to do with that. Mirror slipped into pocket. <laughs> That's so dumb. That is so incredibly dumb. <laughs> okay, uh, wait, is she gone? Oh no, I, I was in observation mode. I was in, I was in investigation mode. Alright, we need to investigate what uh, stuff that's going on here. What's going on with that very, very scared looking dragon over there? <laughs> a brightly painted dragon. Why do I get the thing he's glaring at me? That's less a glare, that's just a nervous, like... I know you can't see my cursor, but like... Those eyes just look terrified. <laughs> those paints must have been to re repaint this wall. That's right! I called in an artist to do the job right. He's the third so far. The third? The first spilled paint all over the entrance here. The second on my kimono. So I. No, don't tell me. It's better than I don't know. Yeah, that's for sure. He looks so sad. Wow, what a big house. The gate is so big. The Kataki family is actually pretty big around these parts. I like the fox, it's so cute! Ah, oh, that! That's our family crest! From the old country! The family crest? We're clever as the fox, and our teeth are sharp! There's like a motto. You need a crest too, Apollo! Oh, how about the scales of justice, or a lunar lander? I'll pass, alright. <laughs> Uh, anything else we can investigate? Okay, before we do investigate that, that's actually done a whole lot of these. I guess it's just the paint now? There's paint splashed all over this gate. What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right! And I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course, they can make up them clean up their own mess. I don't think that's what she's got in mind. <laughs> You're cute. Naive, but cute. But if I do ever did this, you can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much 
as a mess. Alright, cool, cool. We can, like, hand over the person and then get a murder and then that's going to be our, like, court case, I guess. Sure. Uh, cleaning is murder. <laughs> I'd laugh if my te teeth weren't chattering so hard. Alright, I think I've investigated everything now. What do you have to say about, I guess, whatever happened last night? Little Plump? That's a really cute name for someone, so... Yeah, you probably don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> what is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to our orchestras, Chrissy? That seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. <laughs> oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. Gangst? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Tracy, through me, please. I'm begging you here. They're very open about it, so, you know. Bad guys, I like the sound of that. We need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So you're saying that business is in a slump. Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. Alright. So there's supposedly a car accident here last night. Last night! Of course you wouldn't know about it! Oh wait, no, that's, that's Apollo. Of course you wouldn't know about it! I'm so sorry to bother you! Wait. Yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing Phoenix Wright would do. <laughs> ah, I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great pointman. Yeah, Phoenix Wright working for the... <laughs> or for the organized crime syndicate, sure. That'll be, uh... That seems like just a general sensible progression, to be honest. Could you avoid using too much industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Ah! Cleaning up this paint? Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. Is he came to his rescue? You have my husband, the boss, to thank for that. The car that hit your father knocked over this paint. Then turned the corner and sped away. And we've got evidence connecting it to the one at the clinic. So it's probably the same car, right? Probably definitely the same car. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. <laughs> no, it's terrified! But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? <laughs> Please, go through me when you want to! I was such a stiff lawyer boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. But we're community-oriented gangsters. Oh, right, so they're, they're the good kind of gangsters. I see. <laughs> the boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now it's just the paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Wait, what? Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? So that was our hint to look in the trash can, I guess. Quite the commotion. Chicago lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago? Oh, gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. You're kidding! What a morning! Trouble everywhere! The park, the gate, even our house! Is something happening at our house, too? A crime without honour, without remorse! It's a private matter. Want to hear about it? <laughs> Somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer. Alright, let's pry into your family business. <laughs> it's a private matter. Want to hear about it? <laughs> so, what happened to you guys? Bloomers last night. I got a bad feeling about this. Wait, were some bloomers stolen? Me, little plump Kentucky, the victim of a panty snatcher! Who's been going around stealing all the panties? Again! The second, the second panties. 
So it wasn't just my pansies that were stolen? Not you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? No, of course not. Mercy. I've heard word the panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties of all have something in common. <laughs> they're also magic panties, they're also extra dimensional space. Uh, it's hard to imagine Trucy's and Mrs. Kazaki's panties having much in common. I just imagine Mrs. K yeah, don't do that. Don't, Apollo, rookie mistake, don't do that. I don't, we'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you got me into this time, Trucy? Oh, you're back. Hello. That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, ah, hello, mother. She's a Kataki too. Uh, miss, miss. Ellipses? Here, a flyer. All right, now I can actually have a look at the flyer. Write anything, agency. Circle, circle, star, circle, X, triangle, circle, circle, square, star. That's definitely a PlayStation um, cheat code. From magic to the piano, even your defense, call now. Why does it look like anything has been just, like, pasted over? <laughs> right, anything agency? Anything agency? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, uh, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Oh, it was the right talent agency before. Has Trucy just literally just stuck that over the word talent? <laughs> that makes sense. Drop by our office, we'll be waiting. Ah, goodbye. Uh, why'd you give her a flyer? I don't know, she seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty, she doesn't need our help. Apollo's not very good at the whole, like, uh, you know, advertising thing. Not much of a marketer. Not like Trucy. Okay, well, we learned some things. Uh, we've learned that it wasn't just uh, Trucy. So I guess now we'll... Yeah, now we've got the, um, the wing mirror. Let's go ahead and head back to the garage and do this. Because we know we need to do this with the wing mirror. I guess... We'll see if we can go back for the slippers after we've done this, but I get the feeling the whole point was that we can't. <laughs> and that's why the game's just like arbitrarily, oh no, not enough pocket space, sorry. You know that court record where you can literally store infinite things? No, sorry. Uh, sometimes the game just likes to do that. All right, wing mirror. Hey, look at that. The mirror's broken off. Now this is a clue. All right, yeah, we've definitely already seen this. All right, let's, now we can show evidence. I think I do have just a clue you have in mind. Let's present the mirror. Torn off the car that hit Mr. Wright was found in front of Kentucky Mansion. Take that! Take that! All right, quiet down, Apollo, jeez. My clue is this. <laughs> that apparently Trucy was carrying, but now Apollo has, sure. Uh, Whoa, it's the same color and size and everything. A perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Huh, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. It looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. <laughs> My clue is, <laughs> this reached into Trucy's pocket. Looks <laughs> like so, we just solved a case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us, yep. Oh, you put the pro in professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo! Oh, what is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. I'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. I mean, that's two cases solved, I guess? He doesn't seem the type to mope, though. And this is hardly a case worth reporting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we need to find the actual, like, person. I guess the per like, the implication is that that is the doctor in charge of the clinic, but uh, I feel like we need more evidence to link the two together. But whatever, I guess we'll go and uh, report in. Let's head back to the Right Anything Agency so that we can go to the Hickfield Clinic. Ba, 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 ba. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Yo! 
Yo! Yo. How goes it? <laughs> Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngers on the case. Let's, let's old Daddy-o get... <laughs> Let's old Daddy-o get some well-deserved R&R. Old Daddy-o. <laughs> oh, God, Phoenix. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> the elderly need their rest. <laughs> Isn't he only 33? I feel old. My bones are breaking. <laughs> We've cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out, if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. Yeah, he's 33 years old and is already using terms like daddy-o. I feel, I feel old. I feel like... <laughs> my body's just falling apart. Alright. Uh, I guess we want to pres present. I want to present the mirror. Actually, wait, is there anything we can talk about first? Want to have a chat? Chat about progress report? Let's, let's talk about progress report. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Polly's amazing! He found my panties so quick! Almost like he was the one who stole them! Don't... no. <laughs> and... Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30-foot toss? Apparently it was a doctor from the Maractus Clinic. Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? Oh, is he the one that got... like, killed? Yeah, and that's gonna put suspicion on Eldoon, right? Because they had a feud. That's what's gonna happen here. What is this miraculous clinic anyway? All I've heard are the rumours. That client's been making good money in a bad way. Slow headpats. Oh, why are my headpats so slow? Oh, they're trying. They're trying. <laughs> Please consider a look around the site of your former residence. A look around the site of your former residence. We'll go, I mean, we'll go back to the right towns agency at some point, I'm sure. Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. The Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take to a public hospital, see? They use the Maractus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. Alright, and what about People Park? It looks like something had happened in that park. Ah, the body was found there in unusual circumstances. Phoenix clearly knows all this already. That is clearly the reason that Phoenix was there, right? <laughs> like, just manipulating everything behind the scenes. Something more unusual than being dead. It's not a concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happens to professional curiosity. Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe hit him up for some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. I was wondering when I get paid. I solved the case in accident and found a missing article of clothing. My panties! I'll use the noodle stand. Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. <laughs> Goodbye, quid pro, uh, quid pro quo. Back to the office, plan our next move. Alright, I want to first present everything we have to Phoenix, just in case he has anything to say on them. Um, how do I actually present? I guess I have to click it and press R. So this is the thing that lets you the car. Yes, sir, the mirror you knocked off was just the clue we needed. Good work, Apollo. Of course, you might say. I was the one who made solving that case possible. <laughs> you don't get points for knocking off a car mirror. Alright, cell phone, any chance you recognise it? Probably not. No, that's your general ign ignore thing. We found the magic panties! <laughs> Trucy special ordered them. I'd hate to have to buy a new pair. Oh yeah. Anything, anything not involving money. <laughs> it's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. Alright. So nothing interesting from any of those. 
So, where to next? I guess we'll go back to the Write Anything Agency. We, it, I like how it's changed to Write Anything Agency now. <laughs> June 15th, Write Anything Agency. Oh, hello. You're the one from the Kitaki place. Yes. I knew it. Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've come to the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. Alita Tiala. Well, I mean, we have an anagram there, but I don't... I'm not detecting any other puns in the name immediately. I have a request. Okay. Um... What is your request? Let me guess, something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says no defending, so I thought... What? You mean... You mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you tell us what happened? Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé, I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Is this gonna be the doctor, maybe? Murder. Have you heard about what happened at the park? No, we have not. Finally, we're going to find out about a murder. <laughs> you can't just ask if people have had their panties stolen. <laughs> I mean, truth he can, apparently. N n hashtag no filter. Uh, what's your story? You frequent the Kataki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet. You see, I have to be married next month to the boss's son. We're defending the boss's son? Well, the Katakis are locally re responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. I think you're onto something. This is Kitaki. I like the sound of that. Wait, how do we, how do we, like, how do we just marry into one of these gangster families? Can I, where do I sign up for that? Uh, I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Like, that sounds like a, like, a decent life. What happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park, near the Kentucky Mansion. <laughs> there were a lot of police cars there. Apparently the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Your fiancé is the Kitaki family's only son. His name's Waki. Waki Kitaki. Waki? Waki. Waki. <laughs> okay. Alright. I mean, love the hair. So got the most hair, love the hair. Got blue badger shirts, love it. Walkie-talkie? <laughs> yeah, powerful, powerful gender. <laughs> he can be so powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son? I'm sure it'll take his father's place someday. Say I'm a boss already of this agency. <laughs> Please help my walkie. Please. My first solo defense case. Prime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request from Alita Tiala for the legal defense of her fiance, Waki Kitaki. Let's have a look at that. See what does it, can we actually have a look at it? We can't have a look at it, we can just have a look at the envelope. It just says legal request. Hit request! Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! This isn't a legal request at all! That's, that's not a legal request. That's, that's not a legal request. That's a hit request. I'm not. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's a bit of lingo, like calling a hit or a hitman. Do you mean gangster talk? So does hit mean to defending gangsteries? Hit. Well, am I a hitman now? <laughs> All right. Um, I don't really want to be. I don't really want to be. I don't really want to have this on me. <laughs> if anyone talks to me. All right. 
Yeah, I gotta reuse the envelopes. <laughs> I guess we have to kill the guy now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's gonna just that's gonna bite me hard, just getting caught with like that envelope on me. <laughs> Um, would you like to find a- is this your mobile phone, by the way? Is this your cell phone? Wait. Is this your cell phone? No. Not your cell phone. Got it. Is this your wing mirror? <laughs> Not a trick question, don't worry. Is this your ramen bowl? No. Are these- are these your pants? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I really shouldn't go around, uh, showing my- showing Trusty's panties to everybody, should I? I hope it's your first. If we take this, we'll be able to investigate the scene. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Pause and apologize to where it just comes a stealth assassination game. Seems like it's going to be soon. We have access to the detention center now as well. Uh, so, we can go to the scene of the crime. Because the letter of request is probably going to get us in there. Or we can go to the detention center. I think maybe we need to go to the detention center first, though. Let's go to the detention center. Ah, good old detention center. June 15th, with that singular guard in the back that just does not ever move. <laughs> June 15th, detention center, visitor's room. Isn't, like, the conversation between, like, a lawyer and their client supposed to be private? I never understood why there's just a guy just in the background, just stood there. Ah... Uh... I mean, I mean, the weird legal system this place has. Polly, you look as happy as a clam in its shell! For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Uh, you need something? Ah, yes, we're attorneys! I was hoping we could see Mr. Waki Kataki. He's in questioning right now, could take a while. Trapped, oh well, guess we'll have to come back later then. So much for that battle. Alright, I guess we can't come here, I guess we're gonna head... Le away from here. I guess we're gonna head to the scene of the crime then. <laughs> Kitaki Mansion. June fifteenth. Kitaki Mansion. She's still trying to get over the fence. <laughs> and there's a motorbike here. This is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're investigating. We're investigating. Sorry, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... huh? I didn't say hit request on it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why would you show them the envelope? <laughs> Take the letter out of the envelope! Discard the envelope! Don't want it anymore! This talent must have used the Kitaki stationery. Excuse me, coming through. It's you, Mr. Gavin! Who's this guy? Oh, is, is it your motorbike? I mean, it's kind of in the way. Could you move it? <laughs> I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. This is the first time I've felt this way with a man. <laughs> are you... Are you coming on to me? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> Mr. Gavin? Ah, oh, Fraulein. What is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Yes! The policeman officer a fellow here won't let us in. We have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? I will leave, officer. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Very well. This way, Fraulein. Can I come? <laughs> Paula's like, can I come? <laughs> Hello? If you're getting about me. Hey, what about me? Well, I think we found the noodle, uh, cart. June 15th, People Park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you, we see you again. Ask the wind, Fraulein. I'll be riding on it. That's a, that's a definitely yes. Uh, who was that? Eek! Apollo, look! A court! Are you referring to the mannequin? <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh no, a corpse that's saluting and not on the floor. Oh, it sure got me. Might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? 
Hello, Emma. You're hoping, uh, hopefully, you're not, you don't have any like hydroxy uno dosa trace on you. This guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. That glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. <laughs> One moment. Why is she holding that big, ma big magnifying glass? Time passes. She's going through all the fine details, all the tiny, like the tiny print. I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Elisa Tiala. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out. So what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking place in the body. Presuming the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand. Oh. So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky. I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. <laughs> She's changed. The years have not been kind. <laughs> How long has it been? Like nine years since the first game? I trust you know how to stay out the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. We won't go. We won't pry too much into the details of why. Uh, <laughs> right. Let's have an examine of the crime scene. So obviously we found El Nude's uh, noodle stand. Let's have a look at them. But first we need to look at this river over here. <laughs> no mess with the crime scene. We need to investigate. Investigations have been carried out by professionals scientifically. Oh, does that mean I can't investigate anything? Hey Apollo! My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. I better check out what we came here to find. Yeah, alright. So you're not letting me investigate anything other than the noodle stand. Got it. <laughs> She's so jaded. It's so sad. Because she was so enthusiastic in the first game. No, why she changed? It's the Pog Badge. All the power is in the Pog Badge. She's given it to Phoenix. Hey there, no messing with the crime scene. We need to investigate. Apollo, look! That stand! Ah, I've just noticed it! Whoa! <laughs> Good work, Tracy. <laughs> it says Eldoon! I've noticed. Oh, I've solved the case, the missing stand at least. But the circumstances could stand to be better. The circumstances could stand to be better. Get it? It's, it's hilarious. Nice one, Apollo. All right. Um, what do we have to talk about then? The case? Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. I mean, I understand. Nothing gets in the way of snack time. All right. We'll we'll just we'll just wait here, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I do like snack time. <laughs> oh, we get some munches in chat. Let's get some munching. I'm not making much progress here. <laughs> she must not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years, and they won't give me the position I requested. Nine years? It has been nine years. Wait, back after nine years? Does that? Wait, where's she been for nine years then? And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. Oh, is she sad because Phoenix isn't a lawyer anymore? He? Who's he? An ex-defense attorney? Gee, who could it be? Out of all the characters we know, who could it be that quit defense, defense attorneying within the last seven, like nine years? All right. <laughs> could be anyone, really, absolutely. <laughs> um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's oh, okay. It's still snack time. <laughs> still snack, snack time again. 
Not making much progress here. The, the trick is it's always snack time. <laughs> What's she even got? Are those like... Peanuts or something? Like, um... Like long nuts. I don't know what, they, what, what which ones those are. <laughs> she was not me very busy. I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years, they won't give me the Zestar request, and then here he gives us the Defense Attorney Life. He who's he? A next Defense Attorney? Let, let's talk about the Defendant. Is it snack time, Detective Sky? It, oh boy, it's sure is snack time! Munch, munch! <laughs> eat, eat faster! <laughs> Right, well that didn't get us anywhere, literally. Um, I guess we, let's present... Um, I wanted to present like something about Phoenix for her to recognize, but I guess we're gonna try presenting my attorney badge. Look, I'm a defense attorney too. If you could spare a moment to take a look at this. <laughs> Can't you see I'm extremely, extremely busy eating? Oh, we don't get any more munching. This is going nowhere fast. Okay. Would you like this? No? You don't want a map? Alright. No map. You want a bowl? No? Not interested in the bowl? Got it. Would you like, um, the cell phone? <laughs> would, would you like, uh, a wing mirror? No. Nope. Not interested in any of these things? Magic panties? No. Alright. Not at all. Uh, so I'm not allowed. To, so I'm not allowed to examine anything. You're not going to talk to me. I like how the menu on the noodle cart says ramen, 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 rice ball. <laughs> you see that? I only just noticed it. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a good menu. Three ramens and a rice ball. Um, like we can't do anything here then, right? Wait, can I? Oh, can I? I can present. Um, I always forget that I can present characters, right? Can I present characters in this game? Maybe I can't. Wait, court record. Oh, the characters only exist in the court record. You can't present characters anymore. Interesting. That's actually, that's changed, right? Need to be able to present characters. Okay, well, I'm not getting very far here, so let's go somewhere else. Kitaki Mansion. Has anything changed here? Um, is that leak new? <laughs> no, well, maybe that leak is new? Is that leak new? Not like the audience of the crime scene, the guy at the entrance is humming a song. He's got rhythm, actually. Maybe he plays in a band. What song are you singing? Oh, not going to tell us. That's so sad. Uh, apparently this park was the gift of the Kataki family, the Friendly People Park, brought to you by Organized Crime. A very naughty part of me has attempted to write, WE KILL on the left side of the sign. <laughs> that seems like the sensible thing to do right now. <laughs> oh, can I take the slippers? There's a big waste basket, basket by the park entrance. I can't go to search through the trash. I don't think we need to. Oh no, please, knock yourself out. Don't mind me, I'll be waiting over here. Just so we're clear, searching through trash isn't a hobby of mine, okay? So we can't, like, we literally, I can see the slippers in the trash can and you're not going to take them. All right, even though they are, like, probably a very vital piece of evidence. But okay, I mean, it's not like they're, you know, splattered in paint or anything like that. I don't, still don't understand why we couldn't take them in the first place, but okay, sure. Fine. No one goes in. Yeah, yeah, all right. You're not going to let them in. I get it. So, yeah. All these, um, all these examines have changed. <laughs> I might change my mind for five bucks. What, is she some kind of con artist? Do they, do they change all the time? They definitely didn't in the previous games. But, uh, yeah, who knows? Can have a look at this fox? An impressive gate befitting the Kataki Mansion. Look at the nameplate, Kitaki! That's so cool! Short and blunt like any good gangster. Let's change our name! How about... Wah! <laughs> I think that's too short and blunt. What do you think? No comment. 
All right, where else can we go? Where else can we go? We can go to the Right Anything Agency, see how things change there. Uh, doesn't seem to have. I'm assuming there's somewhere that we can, we're going to go where we're going to get like a proper like rethink like this. June fifteenth, Eldun's house. Oh, can we tell? Well, we can tell Eldun that we found his um his thing at least. Except he's left, of course. <laughs> we found his stand and everything. What about our free ball? Too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that ball. So sorry. A ball of salt. No, I want my ball of salt. Okay, anything changed in the garage? No, we didn't even get a new thing. Uh, can we, should we go back and see... Uh, Phoenix again? Oh wait, maybe, oh wait, 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 maybe we can go to the detention center now actually, he's probably out of questioning. No. Alright. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of every Ace Attorney game, when you just try to figure out which, wh where do you want me to go now? June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Oh, you're back. Running some problems. Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine. Really? What's this? So there is a problem. No, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. <laughs> huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I'm a lawyer, Phoenix! I got the defense request. Not you! Not you! <laughs> it was also a hit request. Yeah, you can do that, right? <laughs> You've not given that one up. Alright, you're a lawyer, aren't you? You do that on purpose, I know it. Manipulating everything behind the scenes. <laughs> Let's talk about murder! So what about this defense request? It's related to the murder of People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime! Did you know? That's unusual indeed. Said as if he doesn't know that exactly what that was what we we're gonna go find. <laughs> Ever heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon? I think the murder weapon was something else. And you don't know what the murder weapon was? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat, huh? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. The the only person that wears a lab coat. <laughs> it's gotta be Emma Sky. You could say that. So you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about ten years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. I'll make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy, he knows all the police type. Oh wait, maybe you know the other guy too. Another guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince. Apollo, tell me about this prince of truces. Indulge a concerned father. <laughs> he was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Kevin. Did he know? Is he the prosecutor? You know. I guess he's Kristoff. Gavin's younger brother. His brother? We're acquaintances after a fashion. Clavia Gavin, rock and roll god incarnate. Cl Clavia? What a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling he'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Are we trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. It's, it's, it's always snack time. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to the detective. That's the, uh... <laughs> yeah, just, just Phoenix's white powder. <laughs> That's the fingerprints, um, powder, right? Just take it to her. It'll be fine, you'll see. And tell her I said hi. Wrap her with drugs. <laughs> yeah, she just needs a little bit of white powder, you know? <laughs> Take the edge off. And of course, you keep, keep it under your hat. So this is where the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa! You know what this is, Trucy? Wait, you know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding something in Daddy's dresser when I was little. It's drugs! <laughs> I thought it was sugar, so I licked it and got high. <laughs> he got mad at me. It's getting more and more suspicious. 
white powder placed gingerly into pockets. Mysterious white powder with the alleged ability to improve Detective Sky's mood. Uh huh. <laughs> She's sure to know what that white powder is. All right. I, I think all the fingerprint dusting solution has been used up, and now we just use it to store something else. <laughs> yeah, very, very organized mess. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm like. And then someone moves something and it's like, I don't know where anything is anymore. It's all gone. <laughs> uh, all right, would you like some white powder? <laughs> Wait, I can investigate the white powder. Anything, anything interesting to investigate? I don't think so. What's on the label? The bottle has a label on it. Can you read it? Not a word. Yeah, it's too pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I speak whatever languages are written in. It's literally just too pixelated. I guess we're stuck with this mysterious bottle of white powder. Alright, here you go. Enjoy. Does this ring any bells? Ah! Is that... It couldn't! Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You... Work at the Rise and Core Law Offices, yes? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how did you know my daddy? Daddy? I'm sorry, who do you say you were? Tracy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, thanks, you can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This product is used for detecting fingerprints. I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. And we learned how to do, um, like, fingerprint dusting with the DS touchscreen. <laughs> and blowing it away with the DS microphone. Sometimes. If you find the evidence with the fingerprints on it, let me know. Or dust for prints. She's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Cool! Uh, I mean, so I can, I can actually have a look around now and actually examine things. Nice, let's go. Can we have a look at the menu? I want to see what, see what I want to order from the noodle stand. And this is Mr. Eldu's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Eldu in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him, what with the corpse and all. That wraps up three of our cases. <laughs> That's right, congratulations Apollo! How many other cases have we got? It feels like we're just kind of picking up cases all over the place. <laughs> And we also have the other, the other tale of the missing panties. There's just one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. Alright, that's the noodle stand. We have these blue tarps on the floor. Blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here! I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Oh, just those. Those are preserving the crime scene. I guess the police put those tops here after all. <laughs> uh, yes, you. Congratulations, you. You failed your perception check successfully. Uh, all right, what's in this bin over here? There's got to be a good clue or two around here. Cue your trash cans. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Can't see I'm doing my. Huh? Look, another pair of underwear. That's what we found the other bloomers. We really are getting good at this whole, like, uh, fancy finding thing. They're not mine! Have these been stolen too? Loomers added to the court record. Okay, I mean, what, we know, we already know who who's those, are, who's those are. Have a look at the river. The benches line the river running through the park. A little urban oasis. I bet children come here to splash around in the water. The river's a little deep for splashing. A little dirty. They could listen to the water and pretend they were playing. Okay, I mean, the, the knife is the obvious thing to dust for fingerprints, so I'm going to check the corpse first. <laughs> this mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place for body. The body of the victim's already been removed. Do you think the victim was a noodle sand thief? You think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah, taking care of business, like little plum kitaki style. I don't sound too eager about that. Uh, yep. 
And we have the final thing, which is going to be... Is that a knife? It's a knife! Ah, oh, I thought it was a spoon. Dang it. I, I lost my game of knifey spoony. A shiv, to be precise. Ooh, lingo. The defendant, Waki Kataki, is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Look at this, there's a handprint on this shiv. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint! There might be up to five fingerprints, if there's a handprint. First, choose the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint. Look closely at the handle. Alright, I'm looking. Do you want me to look closer? I'm, 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 to look closer, I probably have to look, move a bit closer to the monitor. For sure. There's more than one fingerprint there. There's black spots. That's right, pick the one you want to analyse. Uh, I guess the big one. <laughs> You could try and do... An oh yeah, it won't let me do any of the others. Pick the one you want to analyse as long as it's this one and only this one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Literally one option. <laughs> right, let's get detecting. <laughs> She's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder... Al alu aluminium powder over the print. With a press of space like this, see? The oil left by the print absorbs the aluminium powder... So you just dust it on. And blow it off. Blow? It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just use R. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss the DS for doing this because you get actually have to like actually blow into the microphone. Isn't it though? Let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Okay. Uh how do I? Okay, I need. To, so I click where I want to put it, and then I press space. Okay. Well, let's just let's make sure we definitely sufficiently cover this powder. I guess we gotta make sure that we use plenty of uh, aluminium powder. Don't want any any footprints. Any footprints? Yeah, any footprints. If there are any footprints on here, we don't want those to go unseen. We want to make sure we put a, quite a bit of powder on here, you know, just to make sure that we really cover the whole surface area, you know? It's uh, that kind of thing. Got to make sure we're very, very thorough. There we go, there we go. A little, little tiny bit more alum aluminium powder and blow. Blow, 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 blow. <laughs> I'm just going to cry right now. <laughs> There's just a big mountain of aluminium powder on the floor. Uh, uh, good, clear, quite impressive. Next, to match the print. <laughs> the police office has samples so you can tell whose finger this print belongs to. That doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. Uh, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. Wait, do I? <laughs> do I have a have a good idea of who this knife is? Oh, it's going to be Waki Kataki, right? That's that's why that's why he's a suspect. Yeah, for sure, for sure, it's Waki Kataki. Okay. Match found. So, the fingerprints do belong to the defendants. Yes, isn't it amazing? The power of science is my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. <laughs> Look, shout, spirits up, for the real fight is yet to come. Shut up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. Knife added to the court record. Okay. Um, now do we need to go to the detention center? Feels like we're kind of coming up to the end of the investigation day. Uh, and I'm not sure we're going to have actually time to start the trial today, because we're probably going to have to end. Okay, so no, not not even yet. So what do we want to do? Uh, I noticed that um, Lita has gone from here, by the way. Uh, we can talk to Trucy here. I think we should focus on finding more information about the case. 
I mean, <laughs> literally, that's the point of the game. All right. It's my first criminal investigation. It's so mysterious. A noodle stamp pushing a dead man along. I think it was the other way around. The dead man was pulling the stamp. But you read about it being mysterious. I knew it. More information. That's what we need. Well, do we have any leads? Huh, one moment. Alakazam! Alakazing! Where did the seven has come from? So what happens next? Oh, you just throw evidence at my face. I got it. <laughs> so, that's so silly. Can we investigate uh, Mr. Charlie again? No. Yeah, so Mr. Charlie is one of the things that we need to investigate several times for um, achievements. So I'm going to keep an eye on it and check it out every time we can. Uh, well, maybe we should go talk to Phoenix, I guess? Anything? Do you want, do you want a knife? Do you, do you fancy a knife? Like... I don't know why we're allowed to bring this into the hospital, but, I mean, sure, do you want it? You don't want it? Alright. Sure. I'm not entirely sure where we should go. Maybe we should just, like, actually have just presented the knife to Emma. Would that have been a sensible thing to do? Maybe. Did I think about doing it? No. Did you want the knife? The defender's fingerprints were found on that knife. <laughs> Which means that at the very least, he was here at the scene of the crime. It's highly possible, yes. Ugh, this doesn't look good. No use worrying about what's out already. You just worry about what's yet to come. Is there anything else to talk about? Oh, we got a bunch of things to talk about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because we never spoke to talk to you because it was snack time. <laughs> Whoops. The report came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? How is a body playing a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. What was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Palmaractus. Palmaractus? Palmaractus. Pal Maractus. Pal Maractus? <laughs> I'm trying to find where the pun is. I'm not sure. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Maractus's autopsy report. Oh, Maractus is in the clinic. Oh, malpractice, palmractus. I see. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't spot that. I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't spot that. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm re really. What's up with this case? It's just to make me want to run off. Pulling a mysterious noodle stamp behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stamp came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stamp came from. The noodle stamp's owner is... Uh, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. It's Guy Eldon. I mean, the name... The name is literally on the side of the stand! If you need any more hints... I... I... Take that! Take that! <laughs> Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldoon's Noodles, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad, I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work, thanks. <laughs> <coughs> Noodle stand added to the court record. Am I just carrying the noodle stand around with me now? I can carry a whole noodle stand, but I can't carry slippers and a mirror at the same time. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Jeez. What sort of person was the victim anyway? What did he do? It was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. I guess we just put all our other evidence on the noodle stand. Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. 
Detective Sky. Huh. I was out of the country for a little while. I came back to your forensic scientist. Oh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why don't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... I had a lot of favours to repay to people back here. Favours, wasn't she, in high school when she left? What, what's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Rice's people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while, she probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, state of affairs. I mean, there's no need to be so mean, <laughs> like earlier. <laughs> uh, I guess you've, you've livened up now, now that you know that, like, we're associates of Phoenix Wright, but I guess it's just that mean to everyone that's not an associate of Phoenix Wright? That's... Doesn't exactly speak highly to your character. Uh, <laughs> can you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Waki Kitaki. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently, in the detention centre. <laughs> I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? Ellipses? Ellipses are the reason? Huh, interesting. You're a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Uh, actually, yes, I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Hey. The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Can you tell us a bit more about the victim? Let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sounds of it. The clinic's name is the Maractis Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah, the one on a, on a though on a related issue. Should that be related or unrelated? I don't know. I guess I guess it's just a separate issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. Okay, related issue. Fair enough. So that means Doctor Maractis stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That seems to be the case. But why? Don't ask me. So have you met the defendants? Uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention centre. Alright, that's that's our cue to get our butt over to the detention centre. Got it? <laughs> you might think about wrapping up here and heading over. I don't know what good it'll do. We have a witness and knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? It's like a right tradition. <laughs> Some traditions I can live without. Cool, all right. So yeah, this is probably gonna be the last thing for the day, uh, usually, especially if visiting hours are almost over. Um, so let's head back to the agency and then head over to the detention center and hopefully we'll be able to talk with Waki. June 15th, detention center, visitor's room. Meeting hours for the day are all done. No, I don't get to meet Waki. We still have three minutes. Put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a priest? I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred... Mr. Winfred Big Winds Kataki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you! You're the one on your way out, old! Ah, oh, he sounds... Waki sounds lovely. Oh. Hello, Winfred. Whoa, this guy radiates power. Power. With a cute apron. <laughs> he got the drip. <laughs> you walkie's lawyer. Yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kentucky. <coughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. My voice <coughs> did not enjoy that. <laughs> I'm Big Wins Kentucky. Fourth head of the Kentucky family. Capisce? Capisce? Actually, I came to speak with your son. Mr. Justice. Yes? My son's innocent. He killed no one. Ah. <laughs> My voice did not like that. If you were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Yes, I'm all about capiching. Capiche loud and clear. 
You'll do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. You need a lesson comes at the end of your short life. Wow. <coughs> Alright, I feel like there's a lot, a lot at stake here. What's the big idea, old man? You can't treat me like a kid no more, not now! You know I... I... I wanted to go to the clink! I like it here! Must be walking. A G is not a G till he does hard time. Bizoy! <laughs> oh, good lord. Bizoy. You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence. <laughs> this is so weird and random. I mean, it's Ace Attorney. It's literally the Ace Attorney series. That's why it's so good. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> ha! You can't take me under your wing this time, old man! You heard me! I don't need no trial! I did it! Uh, as, as your lawyer, I've, <laughs> I must advise against saying you did it. <laughs> I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. You'll let me down tomorrow. Good. What could possibly go wrong? I have a client that is saying he did it. And if I lose the trial, I'm going to be murdered by an organized guy, an organized crime family. Great. <laughs> uh, we made so much progress today. We even found my panties. I had fun at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? I almost forgot. It's time for my show. I started performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. To be continued murdered <laughs> by an organized guy. <laughs> Is that what I said? I I I stand by what I said. That's what I said and I mean it, dang it. <laughs> Alright, and that is the end of the day one investigation phase. I imagine we're gonna go straight into a trial uh on the next part, but that is not going to be right now, because that took us a good two and a half hours or so, so uh, yeah, definitely not time to go into that. I, def I I need to, like, maybe try starting on earlier on Mondays just because <laughs> we need to get through at least, like, two parts to have enough stuff to upload for through a week. So I'm probably going to try and do some more of this on Wednesday. Um, hopefully people are around, but we're, if not, then uh, the VODs will be are going up on YouTube pretty quickly. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you for the next part.